Well, I got into medical cannabis in the first place because I was doing multiple sclerosis clinics as a neurologist. And it was a few people with uh, multiple sclerosis came to the clinic and said, I'm trying cannabis and it's really helping, mainly my pain in the context of multiple sclerosis or my sp muscle spasm, my spasticity. And to my surprise, actually, about half of people coming to that clinic had, were on cannabis or had tried cannabis, most of them successfully. These are people who are making themselves illegal they're finding it in unsatisfactory circumstances. They're having to go to dealers on the street or get it through friends. Um, you know, this is something they wouldn't do, most of them, uh, unless it was helping. So there must be something to cannabis. And that sparked my interest and it's been there ever since. Sometimes you feel with its uh, current interest in the media that it's a new medicine, but it's not. It's a very old medicine, but very much accepted as part of the medical um, prescribing uh, f up to about 50 years ago when it was rather demonized by people in the United States and it's now just recovering from that period where people felt it was uh, the wrong thing to take and it got a, a, a poor reputation. But actually as a medicine, it's got a really long history, really good evidence base used by millions and millions of people worldwide each day. So it's a, a thoroughly good, old-fashioned, established medicine and we shouldn't forget that. Well, cannabis basically works on the, our own inbuilt cannabis system called the endocannabinoid system. All of us, all animals actually, except insects, have this system called the endocannabinoid system where we produce cannabis-like chemicals in our own brain which have a wide-ranging effect on many body functions. And all the plant's actually doing is interacting with our own endocannabinoid system. So it's supplementing or adding to our own system that may be in some ways deficient. That's how it works. Uh, we know there's about 140 or so cannabinoids in the plant. Uh, some of them would be very familiar to people, like THC, which is a psychoactive one that gets you high, and CBD, which is not psychoactive and doesn't get you high. They're the two ones that you hear about. But we shouldn't forget there's 138 plus other cannabinoids, all of which have medical properties. The plant also has what's called terpenes, that gives it its characteristic smell. And there's something like 100 terpenes in the plant. And again, all of those have medical properties. So there's 200 plus chemicals in the cannabis plant which interact with each other to produce, uh, in many people, a really effective medical effect on a whole range of bodily systems. 